Hello there YouTube, it's your boy King Sunny here back with another video. Today we will be talking about the second man press. I will show you how you can second man press like a pro. How you can use second man press, where to use it, when to use it, how to use it effectively in order to improve your defending boys. We'll cover everything in this video but before we get started boys, I made an advanced defending tutorial. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. The link is up here, I'll put it up here. Go watch it and then come back to this video because these two videos combined will make you a defensive master on FIFA 22. So let's, so let's, so let's get started with today's video boys. Make sure to note this stuff down otherwise you're just gonna forget and it will not be very useful. We all know in order to do the second man press we hold down the R1 slash RB button. You can also see the controls on the controller on your screen. So the more confusing part for most players is where to use it, when to use it, you know, not exactly how to use it. Okay, so here you can see boys i will i will tell you a few rules like with everything in fifa there are rules there are similarly there are rules to second man press as well all right you can see right now uh, we have selected our C cm marcus lorente we are playing a 442 perfectly lined up four cbs and uh, sorry four defenders four cms you know four midfielders not cms but you get the point so you will see how to use it okay the first and the most effective way of using the second man press is Use it to press your opponents on the wing. Write it down. Use it to press your opponents on the wing. Like look. There is a pass inside. There is a pass inside that we can mark. But right now we are on Vinicius Jr. We cannot do two things at one time. Until and unless we use the help of the second man. Press alright. This pass is a very common pass. Like when your opponents are on the wing like this. They often try to pass it back inside because you can see that this space is already being marked by our Mendy. Vinicius Jr. is cutting it out. So what do we do in this situation? We use the second man press to our advantage. Yes, we use the second man press to our advantage. We select Matthäus and then we... Sorry, what did I do? We select Matthäus and then we cover this passing lane with Matthäus while holding down the R1 button to press Mbappe on the wing. How does it work? You will see up here. Look. Over there we go. Now he doesn't know where to go. He comes back inside. Eventually giving us the ball back. So the first application of the second man press. Is on the wings. Use your LM, RM, LAM, RAM. To press the wingers. And use your CDM slash CMs. To cover the pass inside towards the middle. Because remember most attacks are eventually made through the middle. Now over here you can see another application of the second man press. Often when your opponents are cutting inside from the wings because it is very overpowered on FIFA 22. What we can do over here you can see I have Kimpembe. Alright. He has already been committed and I am leaving this empty space because I am committing to it. Now but Ashraf Hakimi is coming back. Right. Ashraf Hakimi is coming back. So what we can do is use R1 to second man press and pull M Kimpembe back into his position. So what that will do is, that will make sure that our right back presses our opponent. But at the same time, we will not be giving him this space to exploit and make a driven pass inside because that is overpowered. So what will happen is our Ashraf Hakimi will simply just press him while we mark the inside. Use your selected player to cover the passes. Use the other player. To second man press and when you see the opponent has no way to go you press l1 because when you press l1 you will immediately select to the person who is second man pressing and then you can get the ball back how i'll show you just right now make sure to watch all these examples boys look second man pressing put kimpembe back in his position selected ashraf hakimi now immediately selected lorente started marking this pass started marking this pass with lorente okay selected hakimi back to apply pressure, selected Lorente back. And there we go. We get the ball back. But the major key also here is a right stick switching as well. So I have also made a tutorial on that. The link is up here. Go watch it out as well. You see, this is how you can beautifully use the second man press boys. The, another application. This is why I tell people to use the radar. You can see that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is making a run. So I cover that run with Marquinhos using the right stick switching. But I also need to apply pressure on the ball holder. If I do that with Marquinhos, I can give him space to play the pass. So what I do, I hold down second man press. Because remember, our first priority is always to cover the dangerous run. If you press what many people who are not highly skilled at the game just yet what they would do they will not cover this run with marquinhos like i am doing 
instead they will switch to Lorente and they will run at this guy. Then that will give too much space to Cristiano Ronaldo over here to make this run and we will end up conceding this through ball. So we do not want to do that. So the first priority is always to cover the runs of your opponent, which we do in this scenario. Then eventually switch to Mendy and get the ball back. You see, this is the main application of second man press. Use it to use it to cut passes and apply pressure. You cut the passes manually and the man who is second man pressing applies pressure. And I will tell you when not to use it. Okay, just in a moment. Over here you can see. Once again, look at the radar. His, I am on Kimpembe, marking his run. Second man pressing, Lorente presses him down. Once again, his Mbappe is making the run. I right stick switch. And then I am covering his run while my Mateos is second man pressing him. And similarly, I do that again and eventually end up getting the ball back. So boys, when not to secondary man press? You don't do it often when the opponent is coming at you one on one and you are at you have selected your center back and because if your other center back starts second man pressing then remember he will leave the space for the opponent to exploit always use secondary man press when you outnumber the opposition if you are not outnumbering him don't use it otherwise you will end up leaving space if you have watched my other defensive tutorial then you will know boys that keeping the shape is the key as long as you are keeping the shape while secondary man pressing your defense is structured it's fine but the moment the structure is being disturbed by your second man press please stop using the r1 button let's analyze another example same thing covering the run this is how many people concede through balls but this is the solution to it how do you defend through balls just like i am showing you see in this example you can see as well this is what i meant you see immediately i stopped pressing secondary man press because if i do that marquinhos will leave neymar free and that would give him space to make the pass to neymar over here i press r1 because i know you see how perfectly i position hakimi to cover him down then i switch back to him but this guy absolutely botches his pass but you get the point boys you get the point so long story short you, this you can use secondary man press to apply opposition so sorry to apply pressure on the opposition manually mark your passes towards the inside like right now i am on marquinhos mendy is pressing him down i switch back and then i switch in time to kimpembe make a manual tackle but the, i don't know what the game is doing over there you can see again once again you can see in this scenario you can use the second man press to cover through balls and apply pressure on your opponent's ball carrier what it does is that it does not allow him too much time on the ball to think about while we also cover the pass. Once the dangerous pass is gone, we switch back to the player who was secondary man pressing and then we press them. This was it for today's tutorial. If you like the tutorial, then make sure to click that like button. Let me know what you want to see next. Hopefully you learned something today. If you did, then make sure to subscribe. Until next time, it's me King Sunny out. See you.